Meh. Oh, yeah. Oof, look at it all coming out. Something just opened up. Oh, my goodness. You know what? It's a long shot, Mike. That's a long. You see how long... He's not. He's not moving. See him through the trees. Hold on. Hold on. So what is it? Just to the left of that double tree. See him? You can't see his body.
going to track job now. Like I said, I thought I might hit her, but now I've got the arrow and uh, there's blood trail out here. She's pouring out. She's five strikers all the way. They're excited about their about their harvest. right now shot him about five gave him about two and a half hours reason being I shot him looked like those lows far shot about 43 yard shot got down from our standard on dark I was uh, I was going out I had my bow loaded and stuff and he he got up spooked him he would have died right there about 20 yards a big puddle of blood so I had I went ahead and got out of here gonna you know, give him some time it's about 35 degrees it's almost freezing so I knew with it being night and stuff he'd die he, I mean you could tell he lost a lot of blood right there it was a ton of blood so so I knew he'd die with the, uh, the cold and stuff, won't be able to keep his body warm. Here probably, I hit him a little bit forward. So we're giving him about an hour and a half and uh, we're about to go down and see if we can't find the blue trail. And This brow tine kind of blades back, and he's got another tine that almost matches it right here. And look, he's got a little kicker off this base. A crazy looking head. 20, 25 minutes since I shot that deer. We heard her pile up down there at the bottom, and uh. You know, I guess the other day that were with her started snorting.
was awesome. That was awesome. BFN, a big fat nanny. Buddy, I put the smack down on this dog. Man, thank you, Lord. God is good. <laughs>